Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys episode number 7 of Hot Roulette. And uh, today is going to be a double episode of Hot Roulette. I already posted one several hours ago, so if you haven't watched that already, I'll leave it in the description box below so I don't spoil anything in this video at least. But before I show you guys the team and we start playing some games, I want to introduce a new rule that a lot of people have been asking me for, and that is for some more packs. So it kind of dawned to me this really good rule that I want to add in. And that is basically for every shutout I get for that game. So if I don't let in any goals, total of zero goals per, for that game, I can open up a 7,500 pack. And that kind of incentivizes us to play really well defensively and to just try our best to play so we can open up a 7,500 pack every single game. So yeah, hopefully you guys like that rule. I think that will make every single game a little bit more exciting instead of waiting three games to be able to open up a pack. Now we have the opportunity of opening up one pack every single game as long as we can get a shadow, which isn't too hard in these higher divisions. But once we get to the lower divisions like Division 3, Division 2, Division 1, it might get a little harder. But anyways, let, let's show you guys the team here. Carl Hagelin, Alexander Barkov, and Jason Palmville on the first line. Alexander Radulov, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Braden Shen on the second. Boone Jenner, Peter Holland, Michael Froelich on the third. As well as Yannick Hansen, Melker Carlson, and Nikolai Kuhlman on the fourth. So that's how our offense is looking like. Going right to the defense, we got Mike Green, Hampus Lindholm, Andre Markov, Zach Bogosian, Trevor Daly, and Johnny Oduya. So our team is looking pretty good in Division 7. I'm still looking forward to playing some more games and building up this team to make it better. So let's get right into the first game. I'll meet you guys in there. All right, guys, so we're facing an Ottawa fan. He's got McDavid, Kopitar, and Pacioretty on that first line. Damn, this is, might be a tough game. I just introduced that new rule, so let's hopefully not lose this game and have a good start here. Oh, no, please, don't score. Oh, keeping the dream alive with that 7,500 pack. Come on, get the fuck out. Oh, Jesus. Nice, back to the point. Come on, let's get a shot with Bogosian. Oh, there was a tip in there. I definitely saw that. But a loot, or Brandon Shen cannot tip it by Arena. He's got a really awesome goalie too. Got to be careful with his team. Come on, uh, let's not go back up the point. He knows I'm going to shoot from the point now. Let's uh, try to circle around Carter. And we're just going to walk in and shoot it. Oh, man. Almost threw him off there. Oh, Radulov has a break. Come on. Toe drag. Oh, no. Oh, I messed that up. I should have just, like, did the backhand forehand or some, some something like that. And now he has a break. Get the poke on. Oh. Oh. oh that was dangerous. Oh, Radulov coming right back with a breakaway. The double backhand. Oh. That's like a third breakaway in a minute. Still can't capitalize on those. All right, guys, so that is the end of the first period. Let's take a look at the stats. Nine to six in shots, three minutes time on attack to one minute and 11 seconds. So we're definitely outplaying him by a little bit, but still, we got to get some goals. He's got a very strong goalie in that. He's going to keep making those saves. So come on, let's see if we can capitalize on our opportunities here. Oh, backhand forehand. Yes, there is the first goal. There was a little break there, and I think his defenseman messed up, and we had a, like a two-on-one break. Decided just to go for the backhand forehand instead of doing that cross crease, and it worked out one to nothing in the second period. Oh, what a save by Hutchinson. I think he heard about that new rule, and now he's making some pretty big saves. Oh, Brent Burns. Oh, Jesus Christ. Watch out. Watch out. Play some good defense. Good poke. Oh, what a pass. Barkov, the double backhand. Finish him off, please. There it is. Two to nothing. And, uh, oh, man, we're playing pretty solid right now. Getting some really good passes there. And uh, kind of like a tic-tac-toe play. And there's a breakaway. And uh, we make it two to nothing in the third period. Four seconds. Three, two, one. And that is it. He doesn't even want to take a shot on. And that is a win for us, 2 to nothing against a pretty good team as well. And that also means we can buy a 7,500 pack because we just got a shutout this game as well. So uh, we also got a three-game win streak, so we can open up two packs. And hopefully we can pick up a good player in this next one. Quickly taking a look at the stats there. 17 to 13 in shots, 6 minutes, time on attack to about 5 minutes. So he definitely got some opportunities on us, but we did not let him score any goals there. 
Um, Hutchinson as the first star definitely deserved that. Hopkins with a second star and Barkov with a third. So our team playing pretty well, but let's go ahead, open up those packs. I'll meet you guys there. Okay, so the first pack we're going to be opening up is a 7,500 coin pack, and we're going to use 150 points to do that. So also because we did get a three-game win streak, that also means we can open up a 15K pack right after this one. So let's go ahead, open this one up. Let's see what we get, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see what a rare player is. Gold contract, new coach, all right, one T. Um, keep going here, keep going. Buffalo Sabres Arena. Colton Pareko, all right, not bad, although he's only 85 overall. I mean, can't complain too much. Yori Laterra as well. And uh, Colin Greening, probably not going to use him. So I'll keep Yori Laterra and Colton Pareko, the two St. Louis players, and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm going to be keeping. So ending up, I did sell the coach and the logo and the arena as well. I'm keeping the contracts and the the healing cards as well, just in case. Uh, I'll keep all three players in case that I want to complete some synergies or something like that. So add all those guys to the collection. And we're going to go ahead and open up the 15k pack now. Okay, so going on to the 15k pack, can our two rares be better than Colton Pareko? I'm hoping that maybe we can get something better. So let's get this one opened up. Some things are selling, which is nice. First one, contract. More contracts. Alexei Emelin, not bad. That's a pretty good defenseman. Sam Reinhardt, all right, 84 overall. Uh, Montreal Canadiens jersey. Mark Abbott, all right. Well, where's our rare player here? Our first rare player is going to be... Not Michael Furland. Uh, Team Italy. Jordan Stahl, all right, an 86 overall. I know he has like 86 or 87 in faceoff, so that is a very useful player. Uh, keep going here. Who else is going to be the next player? It's going to be Marcus Johansson. All right. So a left winger. We actually need some more left winger. So that actually works out pretty well. And Anders Nielsen. I, I don't think I'm going to be replacing Hutchinson. So those are all the players. I'll show you guys what I'm going to be keeping. All right. So we're quick selling uh, Furlan and Nielsen. And we'll be keeping all other players. We'll be keeping Jordan Stahl, Johansson, Reinhardt, and Emelin. So they're all pretty high overalls, which I'm pretty happy about. And we're now sitting at about 16K. I'm going to wait a little bit longer because I know there's some items selling, so I'll be right back after all the items have sold. Okay guys, so after waiting about 45 minutes, the items have finally sold and we're now sitting at 20,194 coins. That's the most amount of coins we've had for Hot Roulette so far. So hopefully this next pick can be really good and uh, we're going to be choosing the 17th player here, so let's see what we get. And there's 14 players on this page, so we're going to go right into the next page and start at number 15. It's going to be 15. 16 and 17. Oh, unfortunately, we did not get Martin Hansel team of the week, but we did get Drew Stafford. And not a really good card, but still, he's going to add a little bit more depth into our lineup. So let's go ahead and buy him out, see where he fits in. All right, so we have made some pretty major changes after those two packs and that pickup. You can see with our lineups, we now have Jordan Stahl in that first line center spot. We moved down Alexander Barkov down as well, playing alongside with Brandon Chen and Alexander Radulov. Uh, we added in Yori Letteri as well, uh, just because he has the highest overall so far of the, of the centermen I do have. And as well as Drew Stafford's on that fourth line, playing alongside with Nugent Hopkins and the new pickup Marcus Johansson. So lots of new faces. We're going to see how our team plays in the next game with those offensive players. But uh, we did add in some new defensemen as well, such as Colton Pareko, a new gold uh, right-handed defenseman that's going to help out a lot on those one-timers as well as Alexei Emelin on that third line right defenseman spot playing alongside with Trevor Daly so our defense is getting a lot better our offense is got getting a lot better we just need a better goaltender and we're good to go so anyways let's start up our second game of Hot Roulette here let's see what we can do all right, so here we go, guys. He's got Broussard, Nyquist, and Panarin on his lineup. So we'll see how our players play with our debuts. We got like six or seven guys starting to play their first game of our Hunt Roulette. So anyway, let's get it going. Let's see if we can score some goals. Oh, there is a goal right off the bat. Jordan Stahl trying to get a shot there. And then who is that? Jordan Stahl playing alongside with right-hander. I don't know who that is. Uh, we just picked up a guy. Uh, Palmville? Yeah, that was Palmville. Oh, totally forgot his name there, but uh, just like that, we make it one to nothing. He's going to not want to watch that replay there. So, anyways, we make it one to nothing. Let's keep going. Wow. Shot from the point, and just like that, he gets a tip on there. Couldn't even see that one go in, and he makes it one to one. 
tied back up. Oh, Nugent Hopkins off the post. That play works really well in NHL 17. Just cut right in front of the net and curl it. And you can get some pretty good chances. Oh, Palmville, he's got some speed. We're going to cut in. Shoot it. There it is. That's a pretty uh, power forward move right there. But we want to get that goal right there. We make it 2-1. to one. Still four minutes left in the first. Oh my goodness. Nyquist just cuts right out with that agility. My guys can just not turn fast enough to poke check that off. But a good goal by him. 45 seconds left in the first period and he ties it back up. Alright, so end of the first period. And uh, we are tied up at 2. 11 of 5 in shots. 2 minutes time on attack to 50 seconds. So, I mean, we are getting some time on attack here. But we still need to generate some more chances. Hopefully get this lead. There we go, we score a goal, and uh, that's going to give us the lead. I have no idea how that went in. It kind of looked like it trickled through uh, Quick's 5-hole there. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to complain about that at all. 3-2, to two, that's a great lead. Oh, Yori Letary, go, 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 go. Straight line deep. Oh, no. That does not work at all anymore in NHL 17. Before, I was able to just do that in NHL 16, just skate straight. And you shoot the puck, but didn't work. Oh, Colton Pareko. What a couple of moves. Cross crease it. Oh, man. That was a really nice opportunity. Just getting biased defenders there, but just no dice. Oh, no. I gave him the shot from the point, and Niskanen makes no mistake there. Tying it back up. Oh man, had so many opportunities to score goals, but that's just, uh, I hate giving up the lead. Alright guys, so it's going into overtime. We cannot solve in the past like 3 minutes, but 24 to 15 in shots. 9 minutes time on attack to 3 minutes. Just, oh man, I've had a lot of opportunities to score. I'm like kicking myself right now that I haven't finished it off in regulation. So, let's see if we can finish it off in overtime. Don't bring in a shootout because I suck at shootouts. Ovechkin at the opposite circle as this is Ribeiro walking it on. Fakes the drive. Back to Green. Yeah! So there you go, guys. Another two points in the bag. 25 to 15 shots. Pretty much similar times on attack since the last time I commentated, but three stars, uh, Jason Pomville, Jordan Stahl for the second one, and Gustav Nike was on his team, played pretty well getting the third star. So anyways, let's go ahead, buy another player. I'll meet you guys back at the auction search page. Huge win for us, guys. I'm so glad we didn't have to lose a player off our team. But uh, anyways, after that game, we're now sitting at 20,000. 740 coins so we're bound to get something good sooner or later with 20,000 by now maximum so let's go ahead choose a 25th player and let's see what we get so there's 14 players on this page we'll start at number 15 on the next page it's going to be 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and 25 Tyler Myers that is an awesome pickup he's an 86 overall defender who's also like six foot seven or six foot eight with 87 skating that's gonna be an awesome card to add to our team so let's go ahead buy him out see where he fits in all right so that was quite a massive pickup quite literally Tyler Myers a six foot eight pickup and not only that he actually completes our It's a Trap synergy. If you take a look here, he will give our whole team a plus three bonus to stick checking, defensive awareness, and discipline. So I'm extremely happy about that. Our team got a whole lot better with that pickup, but that is just about it. We're going to have to give him his debut for the next game of Hot Roulette, and I'll meet you guys at the next episode. So anyways, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. You go first, you go Riley, keep going. Backhand, forehand action, and Pongo finishes it off. That is textbook, and uh, right now we make it 3 to nothing. It's only 8.3 seconds.